in this video I'll show you how to fix the E3 error like this one over here on your HP NVI printer. It could be NVI 6452E like this one but any other NVI printer will work the same way as this one. So just stay with me a few seconds and I'll show you how to fix it. Okay so the first thing you'll need to do is to open the um, lid over here where the cartridges are located. Okay, so I lift this and this is where the cartridges are and I can already see the problem in this case. You see the cartridge over here went out of its socket, it could happen. It may or may not be this your problem, I'll show you other solutions, but I always encourage you to remove the ink cartridges if you have this E3 error. So lift these clips, remove completely the ink cartridges. While they're removed, I suggest that you look over here, you see these are the contacts where the, the ink cartridges uh, touches the printer, so they communicate with it. Well, make sure they're not obstructed. If you see there is some ink spillage or anything there, you need to uh, take a wet towel and clean these, okay? In my case, it's not uh, that the problem. So I'll just put back the ink cartridges properly like this, make sure they're attached and secure. Okay, you can even do this a bit to see if they're going out. Do the same for the black one. Also make sure that you're using the right type of ink cartridges because the E3 error could also be because you are not using the right type. In my case, I need the HP 67. So this is what I have here. Here we go. Again, I'll just test it by trying to remove it with my finger. No, it's securely in place, perfect. Another thing that can give this E3 error is that if you have a paper jam, forbidding the ink cartridges to move freely over here. This carriage is moving and if there's some papers and sometimes look over here, you may have some paper stuck here. I'll put an image on the screen so you see what I mean. You see there is a paper stuck over there forbidding the ink cartridges to move freely. So this can cause the error as well. And third, what you can check is over here, you need to pinch with two fingers and lift this panel and check if there's not any paper stuck over there. Take a look, if there's not nothing, perfect. Just place back this lid like this and then you can close the bigger lid of your printer. Then you're gonna go over here on the control panel and you're gonna click on the X button. And this should delete the error. The printer will do its thing, it will take a few seconds, it will do some noises and you'll be good to go after that. So thanks for watching. By the way, if you have other solutions for this E3 error, please write them down below. I'm sure it will be helpful for somebody. If not, just leave a like, a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.